becomes you live in a sick world that demands what they call entertainment. You should have been in the auto races. There was a pile up of ten cars. They all burst into flames. These are sick people. Yeah. They're all sick in this culture. What they go for is not socially productive. Mm -hmm. And so in the future, we will have soap operas, the same kind of thing, only one difference. The little girl comes up to her daddy and says, Daddy, I'm going to be a social psychologist. And he says, what's that? Mm -hmm. Then it shows what it is. So every soap opera, you come away smarter. Mm -hmm. Everybody that comes through here walks out different. That's basically what my show is about. It's like, it's entertaining, combat, this and that, but it's like, it elevates through the process of entertaining. It's yeah. called entraining. You do the best you can. Mm -hmm. All right. So in the future, we'll have less and less bullshit on TV, more and more informative stuff mm -hmm. that makes people not only wiser, better, kinder, mm -hmm. And this, to me, is all religion translated mm -hmm. instead of a verbal hobby mm -hmm. where you keep, keep bothering God all the time. Mm -hmm. So, like I say, there's nothing in this that will hurt anybody. And all the systems, people are prepared for change. They're brought up to, to accept change emotionally and intellectually. Mm -hmm. But if you, if you build a statue of Fresco and put it here and say, this guy designed that city, you hold people back. Mm -hmm. That's the ego. Mm -hmm. I don't want any statues. I told Roxanne if I kicked a bucket, take the ashes and flush it down the john. Mm -hmm. you know, I have no reason to want to be remembered. I want you to go on and make it better. Mm -hmm. Do you have a laptop? Yeah. Do you? Yes. Okay. A laptop 10 years ago <clears throat> would cost about $10 million. It's what a laptop does. Yeah. It occupied a whole uh -huh. building. Today they got it all in one little laptop. Mm -hmm. Two years from now, it will be half the size. Oh, right and you'll be able to verbalize command. Stop, stop, okay. stop, stop. Yeah. You understand? And no film and cameras. So if we go all out research and development, the standard of living will soar. All it takes is one of these cities to well, be functional. We, did, we got already, I've been commissioned to go to Ecuador and design a museum of the future to elevate their kids. They just invited us to Turkey about um, two months ago. We went there and they were so impressed that they're going to start a Venus project at their university. That's great. And they want me to come down and design also a museum of the future in the first new city. So. Right now, we've got people in Ecuador, we've got people all over the world writing about the Venus Project. So I'll show you something, unless, <coughs> unless you can get that bottom book. Yeah, it's called The Irish Entrepreneur. Yeah, the bottom book on that, yeah, hold the other book so they don't fall off. Yeah, the big, it's a bigger one, yeah, just that one. Now bring it over here and I'll show you something. That Irish entrepreneur, they uh, called us and they emailed us and said, will you do an article for this magazine? I said, well, send me a copy and I read it and it's a money magazine, it's a business mm -hmm. magazine. I said, my article is against everything your magazine stands for. They said, do it, we'll print it anyway. I said, under the condition that you don't change one word, they signed an agreement and they ran the Venus Project in Ireland. I just want to show you what they did. Redesigning the world. And they didn't change a word. It's all our stuff. Fish farms mm -hmm. to grow fish and put back into the ocean. Can't keep taking things no. out. So all of these are methods of solving social problems. Cities in the sea, you don't have soil, you hide a hydroponic garden. Mm -hmm. And we have nets under the water growing sea edible food. Mm -hmm. So people can live in the ocean. What they do there is we build the reefs. The US Army about 40 years ago dumped 65 tons of nerve gas off the coast of Miami, the Army. How stupid can you be? Even the soldiers are all orders are orders. No way, you don't do those things. See, they're not conditioned to think no. or question authority. No. So in our society... I had a hard time because I fought against did, that. Did anything bother you up to now that I talked about? Nothing. Okay. You're free to do most anything. The cities in the sea are to reclaim the sea. Mm -hmm. There's all kinds of different cities, which I'm going to explain to you later. 
I want this. This is unconventional, a lot of stuff you're getting. But I want that. They uh, may have to run me. that film over again for many different people because it's going to take them a little while to get the hang of it. But don't get mad at me. I'm not your enemy. I'm just speaking directly and frankly. So please think about these things before you set them aside. Now, they tell you that without money, people will lose their incentive. Who tells you that? The money system. Martin Luther King did not march into the South because someone said, I'm putting 50,000 bucks in your bank account. He marched because he believed in that. Now, when you consider Gandhi, who worked for nothing, trying to free India, he did it for nothing. Jesus didn't work for money. God didn't say, I give you 80 bucks if you do this, 80 bucks an hour. No. I'm afraid of people that work for money. When a guy says, I think your kidney has to come out, a doctor. <laughs> I don't know if he's trying to pay off a yacht mm -hmm. or whether my kidney has to come out. And the money system is very difficult. This system, the doctor can't say to you, it's all in your head, take this pill, call me three days. The doctor's medical group is responsible for the health of everybody in the community. There's an impartial group that comes in and checks the health. It's mostly computerized. And if it goes below a certain standard, some of them have to go back to school. They're not punished or hurt. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. And they can't say it's all in your head, because the health check determines yeah. that. So nothing is left in the hands why you don't come up to the fresco and say, hey, can I check out a sailboat, sailboat Saturday? I said, there's 15 people before you. Uh, we build more sailboats than the people ask for. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to come to me or fill out any forms. The only difference is you're monitored by satellite. In case there's trouble at sea, we know where you were at, not Big Brother mm -hmm. looking for you. You, it's the it all comes from the desire to be of service rather than everyone. the desire. Yes. Because everybody's rather important. Rather than desire to serve the self. Right. Am I getting to you? I'm, I'm Is there anything in the Venus Project so far that bothers you? No, not I. All right, now let me polish it off. There's no government. There's no people. Because people have tried communism, socialism, they all failed. So the second picture is the government of the future. Let me describe it to you. We have six satellites around the Earth that project a hologram. You know what that is? Yeah. Of the Earth. So you're looking at the real world. Mm -hmm. So you can see every hurricane, mm -hmm. the temperatures all over the world. And from 3,000 miles in space, with an infrared camera, plant diseases show up as red in the Amazon jungle. All over the world, you can see the condition of plants. No more opinions. And if you say, you walk over to those image screens and you talk, you say, how many planes are in the air right now? It'll say 12,404, 448, continuous inventory, every hurricane, every fish migration. Under the water we have sonar, which shows you where all the fish